when you're on, you're probably one of the few guys in the Big Ten that can score from any distance from the basket. Do you feel that way, kind of, when you when, when you know you're on, that you can kind of score from anywhere? Um, yeah, I'm, uh, my coaches and my team has really instilled a lot of confidence in me, and you know, um, I feed off of that, and you know, you know, their confidence to give me the ball in the right positions, and you know, coach. You know, he knows my spots, and he always puts me in the right spot. So, uh, you know, it's really credit to my coaches and my teammates. Lamar, how would you assess, uh, Ray, how would you assess your team's uh, defensive effort today? It seemed like it was kind of a high-scoring game, but you guys were able to get some key stops when you needed to. Um, I think that's, you know, a huge step for us. You know, the best teams always find ways to win, and tonight we did. And we uh, locked down when we had to, and we got huge stops and huge rebounds. And, you know, I think that's a huge step for this team. Lamar, um, you guys are 4-1 and one since getting Josh back, and I just want to know what kind of differences he made since coming back. Um, Josh is really the heart and soul of this team. You know, he, his energy is, is unmatched. His, his defense is unmatched, and he's a really our defensive leader. And, you know, having Josh, is, it was huge to have him back. And, um, you know, he just gives this team another extra confidence, some more confidence, because when he was out, we learned that we could play. We had a really good team, and we just added that piece, that huge piece. You know, it just boosted our confidence. Do you feel as if you're playing some of your most consistent ball so far in your career? And if so, what do you think is leading to it? Um, I definitely do. I think I'm definitely playing more consistently. And um, I think it, le it comes from off-season work. You know, you have to really take advantage of time to work on your game and just find holes. And also watching film with my coaches, um, I'm learning uh, when I make mistakes and where to find spots for me to score and stuff like that. So uh, I think it's kind of the off-season work and you know, watching film with my coaches a lot. And, and kind of on a different uh, track here, um, Coach Chambers said Coach Franklin was hanging around. What yeah. was it like to see him? Because I'm, I'm get, do you understand this is a big day for them? And <laughs> yeah. for him to come over and spend time with you guys, what did that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot to me. It's a huge day for you know Penn State football. And for him to take some time out, um, we're really appreciative of it. And, you know, he, he's he been up to a couple games so far. And, you know, uh, we're really cool with him, uh, everybody in the team. So having him come by, it was, uh, it was really cool. Does he ever eye you up as a tight end, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't go back to football. <laughs> uh, Lamar, coaches talked to us about it, seeing a greater maturity in you guys this year and develop over the last couple of months. We can see that now when you lead for the entire second half, respond to them. Where do you see that with this team beyond where we might watch you guys during games? Where else does that show up, maybe off the court or in practice? Um, I think it's really our approach to practice and you know, just having the business-like approach to everything we do as a team. Um, I think that's something we've really adopted as a team. Um, you know, everything's important. Film's important. Getting treatment is important. You know, and you know, you get good karma by doing everything on time, doing it hard. And so, uh, like I said, we we really focused in on just being really businesslike when it comes to playing basketball, and knowing when we can play around, and knowing when it's time to really be serious and locked in. Well, our coach said with uh, some of the injuries that Maryland was dealing with that he felt like coming in that you could have a big night. Did you feel that way coming in that you? would be able to take advantage of some of the size that you possess over and some of the smaller guards that Maryland has? Um, yeah. Uh, you know, they, they've suffered through a lot of injuries, which is unfortunate. And um, I watched Maryland play with the, um, without their bigs. And um, I just saw spots where I'd be able to get in the post and score, get close to the basket and score, and it just opened up the rest of my game. Lamar, do you take it as disrespect when teams, you know, kind of leave you wide open uh, from three or, you know, they try to guard you just a little bit but still give you enough room to pull up? Do you right. take that as disrespect? Like, you know, you guys do know I can shoot threes, right? <laughs> no, it's not disrespect. It's just the easier shot for me. So I don't, I don't find it disrespectful. I just take the shot. Any other questions for Lamar? Alex, Alex. One more? Let's do. Let's make this the last one then. How close are you guys to being as good as you could possibly be this year? Um, I think we have a lot of room for improvement. Um, going down the stretch of this Maryland game, we made a lot of mistakes, uh, and you know those are things that we need to clean up. I don't think it's anything major that we need to change to be the best team that we could be, but we just really need to focus on doing all the little things right and 
that'll get us to be the best team we could be.